hello in this video I want to um, show that I use King root to root my LG G tab um, 8 or L LG G tab F which is a 8 inch tablet and um, I actually used an application called King root and um, I'll put the the uh, download link to King Root um, in um, my description, and you can see when I open King Root, it says Root obtained. Um, when you open it and you haven't acquired Root, it will ask you, "Can it check your phone to see if you can root?" And then after that, if you can, if you can root, it'll um, tell you that you can press root. Now I can't tell you what it'll do if you can't root because I haven't used it on a device that I haven't been able to root with it. Um, but uh, once I rooted, and it literally took like two minutes to root the device. Um, I can even go through here and show you. That I don't even see super user. Um, I know a lot of people say that you'll see super user on your device after you're rooted. I did not see super user. Um, so what I've learned to do, and that's happened to me a couple with a couple of devices that I've rooted. So what I've learned to do is the second thing, if you don't see super user, you can go to the Play Store and download um apps that you frequently use rooting apps you know that you frequently use so of course one of the first apps that I use is titanium backup and then the other one that I use sometimes is flashify because flashify is a way to uh, install a um, recovery image without a computer so I installed titanium backup and I can go here and show you and titanium backup of course when it starts it checks for root so I started up my titanium backup let me click it again asking for root rights all done it got root went into um, titanium backup and I decided to test it out one of the main ways you can test and see if titanium backup works is to try to make a backup. If you're missing busy box, if your folder's in the wrong place, and there you have it, it made a backup. It's a proper backup. If it's not a proper backup in Titanium Backup, um, where you see AZ Recorder 2.8.1, 23, after that, it would be a question mark um, to let you know that it may not be a proper backup. And so, of course, that wasn't enough for me. I had to say, okay, I need another rooted app. So, I, of course, I downloaded Flashify. Um, and Flashify does the same thing. As soon as you open it, it checks for super user access. And it asks me to grant it. And I granted it. And it loaded. If you don't have root, Flashify will not even load to this page. It will tell you that it was not able to acquire root. You have to, it gives you a, um, an option to press OK. You press OK, Flashify closes. It won't even show you boot image, recovery image, zip file, or the backup and restore option. So um, I know that the King root worked. I'm able to back up apps. I'm able to restore apps. And this was for, like I said, once again, my LG G Tab F. Um, and it's running, of course, the, the version of Android that, you know, you're running is important too when it comes to rooting. And uh, it's running the Android version, let's see, software, um, 5.0.2. So it is on Lollipop. I can't guarantee that this will work on 5.1.1. But normally if it works on 5.0.2, it will work on anything uh, before that as well. So 
it should work on your Kit Kat and your gingerbread um, ROMs as well, even though I imagine you probably have already done it. Um, but it definitely worked for Lollipop 5.0.2. And the, the thing I heard about this when I went to the website um, with this router, the, the King Root, is that it um, uses the internet to root you. So that's one of the ways where you kind of are probably more guaranteed to get root because it actually searches your device information on the internet in order to acquire root for you. Um, so this has been how I rooted my LG G Tab F. And I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.